Let's turn on the light. <laughs> hey everyone, we're Eric and Paula, and we've been professional triathletes for over 10 years. Last week, we took you around Banff and Canmore with us as we played with the new GoPro Hero 8 we got for Christmas. This week, I'm headed back to Portland to work on our Sprinter van, and I'll be driving up to Seattle to get a new electrical system put in it. This is my last week before we have to go back to full-time training, and I won't be able to put in as many hours in on the van. Here we go. How's that sun shield treating you? It's pretty, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Perfect. Do, 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 do. Here we are back in Oregon. We gotta knock this out pretty quickly because I'm driving up to Washington in a couple days to get some fancy electrical going. First thing we gotta do, put uh, put some wiring in for the lights that are gonna go on the ceiling. Then we can put the ceiling on. So how'd you get so many tools? A lifetime of working on stuff. Birthday presents and Christmas presents and Father's Day presents. I inherited some stuff from my father and my father-in-law. Well broken in craftsmen. Our jelly sandwich every single day. Lunch a change. Morning, everybody. Van build day two. Just finished up a little swim. Getting back into things um, this week. I'll leave the workout down below for those of you who are interested. Pretty awesome news. The channel while I was swimming. Just went over 8,000 subscribers, which is just mind blowing because of like a month and a half ago, um, we had 2,500 subscribers. I had this big stretch goal for 2020 to hit 10,000. Like my mind is pretty much blown. Thanks to you guys who have been following along. To celebrate, I thought I would read my favorite comment from the last from the last while. Great job with the GoPro, Eric. As a Canadian, I have to say, I've been following Paula since the early ITU days. With all due respect, Paula, this is not the time to be Iron Manning. When your legacy is staring you in the face, go get your Olympic medal that you deserve. Redemption, all in, head down, no regrets. And Eric, this would be a great time for you to put your training in maintenance mode and record Paula's Dave Waddle moment in history. I'm gonna like that, but I don't even know what to say. But we'll consider it. Draw the line all the way up and keep the line consistent against the curve wall. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. Are you filming me? I'm filming you. So you can be on the vlog without being here. So, you you approve of this to be bench layout, yeah? Yeah. What I just showed Paula is basically just dry fitted everything. Nothing strapped down, but trying to get the feeling for how the whole like layout's gonna go. And the next thing I gotta do is gotta build a bench basically that goes where these two things are, and inside of that is gonna be the battery bank, the whole electrical system and stuff. We're gonna use that, basically stepping up onto that to get on the bed or just sit on it to get ready. And with the swivel seat, it's almost like we've got a little dining room type of action. So, uh, time to make a box. Alright, just had another talk with Paula, 
and um, I got some of this leftover white wood and we're going to coat our box with that. Alright, that's it. That is all we got time for. Tomorrow I gotta go get the whole electrical system put in in Washington. So here's the rundown on what we're doing with Damien. Um, basically I'm gonna have a battery that lives back there that powers all the things inside of the van except for starting the van. The battery underneath the floor here will st still start the van. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so when the car is running, it charges this battery and that battery. When the car is off, I can plug this into a wall and it'll be charging that battery and this battery. Uh, I'm gonna have some sort of a gauge that says what uh, the status of the battery is. The coolest thing is I have an inverter, which means that I'll be convert, able to convert the DC power from the battery to AC and run a hot water heater, run a compressor, anything I want that doesn't exceed basically 650 watts because I got a 650 watt inverter. So this is a big step. So. Now. We're putting in the electrical system. I've been wiring up the lights. Damien is putting, getting the whole box where all the power is going to live. What have you been doing? I've been climbing. You, he's been climbing on everything. That's the end of day one. I got the fan now wired onto the house battery. Got all the lights sort of turned on, running off a of battery. Damien has crushed it with our whole power plant here. It's not running yet. Tomorrow it'll all come together. All right, we've been working for a few hours now. I just wired up our switch with a dimmer. Got it connected to our little battery here. Moment of truth. Dude, it works! Yeah! Well, yeah, I mean, there was never there was never any doubt. This is connected to your house, or your start battery. Yeah. And then it runs back here to that charging relay. All right, yeah. And when your start battery reaches 13.2 volts, the relay closes and starts charging your house battery. So you don't have to fool with switching or anything. It's just, you know it's getting charged. Automatically charged. Automatic. You don't have to worry about it our voltmeter and USB. The honors? Sure. Here we go, this is it. What's that? All right. So we turn on the light? Let's turn on the light. Oh. What? What? 
That's so satisfying. <laughs> uh, I love it. Voltmeter and USB. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're what doing we thirteen point oh one. You gotta plug in my iPhone or something. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. That's so cool. I'm guessing that's going to be the end of things because this is such a victorious moment. We'll see you guys next week. That was about as, just about as intense as programs okay. come. So you're in about 8 amps. So you have a 125 amp hour battery divided by 2 is 60 some. So you could run your computer off of this to get down to that 50% state of charge uh, for 8 hours. 8 hours? You have 8 hours of work. Nice. Before you have to start up. So we're at five, four. Dream, that's the dream. Let's try your drill. Working on the van with the power that's in the van. We're pulling 20 amps.